what we're gonna do right here. Welcome back to Peace Out Reviews, it's TJ Duckett, and what we have here today is one I'm really excited for. Just got back from TFCon, and we have the Fans Project, the Retro Future line, Glacial Lord Tusker. So he is the core part of their Glacial Lord Gestalt. These are the more G1 styled um, bots. Definitely a different approach than what they've taken with any of their previous releases, and that makes me even more excited to have these guys in hand. So this is my first time even opening um, one of these, and it's really cool to see the box art here. As you can see, it has the, you know, sunspots and things like that, the imitated crinkles, and they look really, really, really legit. On the back here, you have the whole bot, you know, they have the Tusker highlighted while the other ones are shadowed out. And what's really cool here, it's kind of telling, is that on the back of the box, they have the G1 styled art, but you can see like Shadow Commander there, you've got Shadow Scythe, you've got Glacial Lord, and then you've got what appears to be like Fort Max, you've got the Weird Wolf, you've got a mixture of, you know, releases that they've either already released or we know are going to be releases, or released with some things like that to where... I don't know, maybe that's not for Max because he has the different colored legs and everything. You know, just kind of hints at the future. So very cool stuff. Zoom back out. Just one more. Look at the box. They right. even have what look like cartoon stills of these bots. I mean, that's fantastic. Okay? So, enough gushing about the box. And now we're taking a look at figure itself or at least the packaging of the figure okay so we've got the styrofoam inserts here okay it looks like the shield for the guest dog you've got his headmaster and Corbot you've got Glacier or Tusker himself now what's really cool is it doesn't come with instructions for where the stickers go so they come they went ahead and pre-applied um, half of the stickers for you so you know where the other half goes it's literally it's all symmetrical so that's pretty cool and of course we have the instructions so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is get the stickers applied and we'll go to the next section okay and taking a look at it in mammoth mode here you go We'll also go ahead and take a look at his headmaster slash core bot. Not too insane on the detailing. Pretty plain, straightforward face. In terms of articulation, he has knee joints, but it's because it balls up. So the knee's been forward instead of backwards. Shoulder rotation, and that's it. Okay? Now, when it comes to Glacial Bot itself, get that started. This flips open, and it has a slide here for him to fit inside and ride just like the rest. Okay? Now, just so that you can get an idea of the scale compared to the other glacial box. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Definitely quite a bit taller. All right. So head to toe in alt mode. He is about four and a quarter inches tall. All right. Moving tail clip out of the way. so you can get a look at him. Okay, let's get this guy transformed into robot mode. All right, getting this guy transformed into robot mode, we'll go ahead and knock out the core bot first. You just take that reverse knee articulation there, fold his feet forward, and boom, that's what you got, okay? These core bots are interchangeable with each other, so that's why he has the little grooves in his head here. 
even though the robot mode for this one is different because you know you use them as a head and a joint for the other bots as well okay so flipping those up and just making sure that I'm doing this correctly here all right there are pegs on the side here that these go into just some styrofoam still there first time I did it I kind of had to finagle it a bit to get it there all right so we turn those in we can remove the chest shield now and then this whole thing just hinges back all right like so okay so you see where I'm going with that but okay from there actually take these legs and flip them down okay and you already start to see let me zoom out a little bit the front of the bot okay and there you go there is fist okay and now we're going to take the core bot insert them and you can see that his head's quite a bit out of proportion there so what we do is we just take this piece and flip it up. All right. Okay. And there we have Tusker in robot mode. Let's go ahead and give you guys a view. And he is bag heavy. I mean, it's pretty blatant even just looking at him. But fortunately, he does have really strong screwed in knee joints there so if you have to lean them a little bit forward you know you can just kind of press it and it doesn't look too bad in terms of standing up it doesn't look too off balance all right and this actually doubles as his gun that tusk and that pegs out and just goes into his arm for a shield now in terms of height, this one measures to about just under six inches, about five, just over five and three quarters. So you can see how he scales. To the limb bots there, there you go. And that is Tusker in robot mode. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the, um, the combined farm. Okay, so to get him into the core of the body mode. Just remove the weapons here, of course. All right. So you have them like so. And on the back here, now let me show you something in the instructions that I don't really agree with. All right. See how it has that arrow? And you just see the arms pointing upwards, so it looks like you can just flip it up, you know? But it's actually a turn. So I think that would have been a little bit better, you know, with like a circular arrow or something like that. Okay? But anyway, might have right, might have right. Okay. So we've got that there. Oops. We take this part, you'll see a little slit here, and that actually folds up. Alright. So now we're going to the front side. We're taking the face. The face flips over. Let me actually zoom in, so let's see what I got going on here. The face flips over. Alright. And then that there's like a piece of support, that white, that pushes in. So the face actually, you know, kind of squishes. Let me focus so you can see the detail in there. Alright. You just go ahead and Bring down the tusk like so. Now the fist for the combined form fit inside of here. And for me and others without insanely long fingernails, you just gotta kind of find a good point to wedge it out. Alright. And once you get them out, they just slide out. Alright. And then this part, oops, let me get that back down. 
because they actually flip over and they become shoulder cannons. Okay. Alright, we've got that angle here. I'm actually going to do that quite a bit more. And I'm just making sure everything's secure there. So what you do with the rest of this guy, you, oops, then focus. You take the legs, clip them forward, you put them in a sitting pose, then you bend the knees, okay? And from there, just kinda split his legs out, okay? Like so. And now you've got a perfect setup Actually, I'm going to peg in the shield up to fit in the chest area here. And it fits in all nice, all secure. It's good stuff. All right. So now we're going to take a look at how it looks with the um, other limbs. Okay, now taking a look at Tail Club in its foot mode. It just has a peg that pegs in here. And boom. Locks into place there. And I'll actually... It's a little bit off balance, but... Not too horrible. I'm actually going to back the camera up some here. So that you guys can get an idea... Of how tall this guy is going to be. when he's actually in buy mode. Alright. Now, swapping this out for a quick second. We'll make some things work here. There we go. He is about I'm gonna say to the head eight and a half inches on the dot. Okay? So definitely not a small combiner by any means. The fact that these can be used, um, I was told by Ben Pia at TFCon with uh, actual G1 combiners and things like that is outstanding. So far the color scheme and everything like that, the easy transformations, the stickers, the presentation of the boxes, I mean they are fantastic. So this is a set that I would definitely recommend picking up. I know I only reviewed Tusker today. But I mean, if you buy one, you're going to need them all, and I'm in on these. So thank you for watching. This has been another Kumasao review. TJ Duck, and I'll see you next time.